Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Margaret, also known as Seven Plaza here and on Instagram. And today is day 59 of the 100 day project. I hope you all had a lovely Easter weekend. Here in the Netherlands, we had beautiful weather and we really enjoyed ourselves. For this day's project, I have a prototype, so that's always a good sign. Um, let me show you what it looks like. It is a pocket made out of music paper, vintage music paper. Actually, it looks like it has two pockets, but it actually has three pockets. There's a hidden pocket and I will show you in a second. You could uh, send this out in Happy Mail, put some lovely goodies in. You could um, tuck it in your junk journal, attach it with a paper clip or whatever, or you could attach it, glue it down on two sides, have it as a tuck or on three sides and then have it as a top loading pocket. Uh, let me show you the little secret. You open it up like so and then you flip this up and there's another pocket here and maybe even a secret journaling spot, as you may wish. <laughs> um, let me show you how we make this cutie. For this project, I am using a piece of um, music paper. This is vintage music paper. I have my glue, my favorite glue. Uh, some scissors, a piece of baker's twine. I'm using two very small like tags. Um, this, these are tag shaped, but you could also have just strips of paper. That is not a problem. I'm using my new favorite um, distress ink. Well, it's distress oxide, in fact. Freight burlap, I love this color. So it is a rather simple project. Um, this one I did not really decorate. I am going to try to decorate this one, but we'll see how, how far we'll get. Let me show you how you fold it. Rather easy. You fold this in like so. Just lengthwise, yeah? There you go. I'm using a bone folder. Then the top piece you fold in. I am not going to fold it all the way to this edge. I want, want to have it a little bit more slanted. And it doesn't really matter how far. When you fold it back, you have like a pocket there. Then you flip this piece all the way up to the top, line it up, and there you go. Then you fold it back along this line, so this will go all the way to the edge. Please work with me, music paper. There you go, that's straight-ish. <laughs> so basically now you have the two pockets, unless you flip this up again. And then you can have a pocket here. What I did over here was make sort of a big notch in here. You don't have to do that, you can keep it um, just straight. So have it really, really secret. You could have a smaller thumb notch. I'm going to make a big one again, and I'm going to show you how I did it um, in a second. In a second. Uh, for the closure, let me quickly show you what I'm using. I'm using these small tabs to um, glue on the other side. I'm just going to glue this bit over here, and then the other bit. So basically, this is all the folding that we're going to do. So. Very simple, no measuring, no tricks, no tricks. Good. Let me show you how I make um, this part. If you are not really handy with cutting as I, as I am, I want to have like a sort of an oval notch in here. And I'm rubbish at cutting ovals and circles and what have you. But I have a small trick. I have a die cut like this. If you were to have like a big shot, a big die cut, just have it over here and run it through your machine. Uh, but my machine is A5 and this is A4, so it does not fit. It does not fit. 
so that's a shame so what i'll be doing is i am just going to trace it and then cutting it hopefully that will work putting it putting it um like so so fold the page down and have half the oval on it getting my pencil and just hold it please drawing a line like so and that's how i cut my oval i also tried to do it with the tin with this tin but um that was too big i'm cutting it through the two pages oh hopefully this goes well i wish i wish i uh, uh, would get better at this but <laughs> i'm just not i am just not Especially with circles and ovals. My life would be a lot easier if I had the big uh, die cut machine. But those are expensive. Wow, that almost looks like. Yeah, oh, I'm happy with me. Let's fold it back up again. How was it folded again? <laughs> I'm confused now. Yeah, like so. So we have this oval here, see? Um, I am going to flip this to the inside, like so, because then I like the edge better. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to ink. Before I glue stuff down, I'm going to ink, except for uh, this flap. I'm just going to glue this flap down like so and this flap over here like so just so these two will stay down so just this flap and this flap and then we will glue what am i doing what am i doing yes no <laughs> i'm sorry do as i say not as i do I will only ink on the edges uh, that we will see, so not on the edges that are on the inside of pages and such. Hoping this will not like bore you. It's it's just a little bit of inking. It won't be two hours of inking. I like it to be a little bit crunchy, so I'm inking a little bit extra on the corners. I just like that effect. This one is going to be a lot crunchier <laughs> than the last one, but that's okay. I am going to ink this inside because this is the secret spot. And there you go. See, now we have to fold it open again. I want this line to be inked, so I'm folding it back on itself, just for now, yeah. How far are we with the inking? This part is done, a bit over here, on to the next part, in this pocket, Oops, over here. And over there. Guys, it's getting harder and harder to come up with ideas for this challenge, for this project. Uh, that will not involve like, we're making this and it will be a series of uh, two or three videos. Because I have lots of ideas, but you ca I cannot uh, make them in an hour or so. Also inking the back. Why? Because maybe you would like to send it out as is. And that is why. Good. Everything inked? Everywhere? I believe so. So now we can do some gluing. 
We do not want to glue this part down, of course, because this will be the hidden pocket. So, taking out my glue. Don't you just love this? I, I adore it. I adore it. So, what I'm gluing is this bit. And the art glitter glue is absolutely perfect for this project. There's one. And I'm gluing the other bit, this bit. Till where? Until there. Too much glue. Flipping it around and then this whole side. I need to remind myself not to squeeze too hard in the bottle because it comes out all by itself. It's like a little bit uh, like writing. It is very, very easy. Good. We are letting this dry and now I want to make the the closure. Yep. For the closure, I'm using these like small tag shapes. Um, I have die cut set where they have a uh, small and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. These were like the smallest. Uh, if you don't have a die cut, um, you could like cut out a, a shape of some sort. Um, made this out of some sort of craft paper. I want to ink it. Um, one is going to go over here and one is going to go over there, of course. So they will be opposite to each other. So not both like this, but both like that. And why am I telling you this? Because I am going to stamp them. And I want to stamp them in one go. <laughs> in one go. If you have both have them like this, you stamp it. And then you have to flip this upside down. Then the stamp on here will be upside down. And I don't want that. I want the stamp to be directional. Um, I'm using this stamp from my Uncle Ali. Normally I would be raving because this looks great. Hoping it will not like glare. But the stamp, it, it stamps rubbish. Um, it has some lines in it that just don't work. I've used it with a um, stamping tool and you know, all sorts. So um, even though I love the image, I do not recommend this stamp. Because it stamps rubbish if you um, do not do it by hand. And by hand, I mean not with a block, uh, acrylic block or a stamping aid. I'm just going to do it by hand. Lining them up. There you go. Putting it over. That is upside down. And like so. See, and now I'm pressing it with my hands. Everywhere. I do love the images on here. It's because it's numbers. And we love that. There we go. Oops, see, that worked. Uh, if you do it otherwise, it will not. It, you see, it's a little bit like faded here. And that's in the stamp. Apparently, I don't know. It's too bad. It's too bad. But, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, I did not ink these edges, but I will on this one. Just because of the look. And I am also adding a small eyelet. You don't have to do that. But I just like the effect. Small eyelets. Um, these are, yeah, the small ones. The smaller ones. I have two small gold ones because I have a lot of those. So why not use them? Use them up. Um, here we go. Still, I haven't used my um, crocodile big bite. <laughs> oh, I need it. I need it. Yeah. When will you be using it? Well, someday. <laughs> I have inky fingers already. There you go. And I 
corazón. Andiarlo. There you go. Good. Well, this is dry. So I want to glue these on and have them in a spot where they will overlap this. Don't have them like so because that wouldn't make any sense. Have them cover the flap. I'm going to fold this over. What I want is the exact, am exact amount of this one to be over here. So you could take out your ruler and such, or, or you just line them up like so, and then fold this one the exact same size. Makes sense? It does. Just make it easier on yourself. Um, you do not have to, you, you need to have it on the same length, uh, on the same line. Lucky for me, <laughs> it has a line on the page. So I'm going to follow this line. If not, you have to draw it. Am I using art? I'm going to call this art. Even though it looks very girly. There's one, and then line the other one up. There you go. And there you go. We need to let this dry just for a bit. Bring the pin back in. There you go. Um, for now, I'm not going to bother with, uh, with the string because I want to do some decorating. On this one, I have used my favorite stamp. Um, yeah, if I can find it. Yeah, it's over here. And again, I'm using the frayed burlap. Just here and there. Also on the inside. And then here on the outside. There you go. That's enough. It's almost like doing mixed media, like I was doing splatters or something. See? Yeah. Oh, the back. I'm going to do the back as well. Because maybe I want to give this away. As a gift. See? Shall we do some real decorating? Like putting on some labels and, you know, stuff that I like. Let's do that. So for decorating, I took out my fussy cut maps with insects, the creepy crawlies. Uh, but they're not fussy cut. <laughs> Um, yeah, because thi this is a lot of work. And also if you fussy cut them in advance, all the little antennas and um, arms and legs of all the animals will get bent and such. So yeah, I did not fussy cut them. I did fussy cut them in advance for you guys. Because I'm thinking some sort of a field note entomology sort of uh, folded thing. Yeah. I thought, why, why not? And then later on, you can fill these with like uh, specimen cards. Maybe also an idea, an idea to make. So that was I. Uh, that's what I was thinking. Um, I want to have the big dragonfly on the back because I love this one. And I'm also going to do some stamping uh, and some labels. Yeah. Okay, let's, ju let's just start with the back, because I was thinking I have the stamps as uh, specimen. So I want to have this, I'm guessing, down here. Or maybe up there. And then a label down here. And let's quickly search for a nice label. 
Um, I don't know. Oh, something green. Because this is also green. Yeah. I'm gonna this, do this here and then this probably here because there's less black lines. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Using my black ink. Having it the right way up, that'd be nice. Um, yes. Over here in the corner. Yep. And then Lily Bella. What I did when I fussy cut them first, I um, distressed. I inked all around it because if you want to ink them when the the, the little legs are already cut out you will break them for sure so that's what i did i'm going to have it a little bit off center we're going to lose a little bit of its wings but that's that's okay i don't mind that at all no, i'm gonna have this here well this is going to look completely different uh, to what i thought it would look like but I'm happy with it. Yep. For this, let's oh, let's do some um, glitter glue. Only on the feelers, on the. Well, this will work. This will work. Just be careful, Margaret. Be careful. But you could use some more glitter glue. It'll work. It will work. Pressing it down. I'm not going to flip it over because I want to have something else on the other side. I'm very careful not to cut the paper underneath. Um, I was too careful. Let go! <laughs> Then it's an ink again. But that's okay. Look at that! Yeah, I like it. I like it. On the front, I was thinking I need to do something on the inside, like this one. Yeah. And then, I don't know, have a number here. Or. Oh, underneath. I'm gonna have the number here and then, yeah. Yep. Is this the right side up? Yeah. Where were you going, little bug? Over here. So I'm gonna have the numbers in these lines over here. Doesn't make any sense to have it on um, music paper now. <laughs> but that's all right. I am going to use my art glue on this because there's too many of these small legs. Creepy crawlies. Taking out my tweezers. Yeah. Oh, look at me being all professional, taking out my tweezers and such. Wow. Is it straight? Fish? Then I want to have this one on the bottom, but then with a label behind it. Something like this. December 25th, that means Christmas, right? Yeah, so new. Balance. Oh! It says flower heads, but that doesn't matter. Natural history specimens. Yeah. <laughs> specimens. Put that one here. And then have this one. Atop of it. Yeah. I 
had a whole book full of these. So that was a lot of fussy cutting. Actually enjoying my tweezers now. Yeah. Yeah, that looks nice. Go away, dragonfly wing. Or part of it. Creepy crawly over here. And then uh, with a number stamp. Sure. Yep. Will that work? It will work. It works. Sorry, concentrating, so I'm a little bit quiet, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> glue on the parts that you want to glue down. Not missing a part here because my fingers touch it. Yeah. Now his antennas are sticking out, but. Uh, in this case, I can't. No. I was thinking about flip. You can flip an op it over because you have this glue. Yeah. That worked. And the last one. I have this. This looks like. Uh, this this not this not, doesn't scare me. This scares me because this looks like it could sting you, and yeah, then you could cry. I want a small label with this number eight. No, no, no. Let's do a little bit of a color on here. Yeah, some green stuff over there. little bit more over here tweezers oopsies I broke your leg I am so sorry Stingy beast. Stay. What do you think? Isn't it awesome? I think so. Let's um, attach the baker's twine. Oh, did we? Yeah, we did. Do we did do the inside? Do we want something here? Yes, yes, yes. Before I do that, I want something there. Another small label. I don't know. Not the Christmas one. Delete where not applicable. Applic is that a word? Applicable? Did I say it right? Hmm. Oh, there's a little bit of red. So let's have a little bit of red here as well. You did not put your pin back in. Put your pin back in. Yeah. I'm even gonna have another stamp here. Are you are you done? Are you finished? <laughs> oh, I could I could never be finished. I could do this all day. Good. Now I'm finished. Now I'm finished, guys. Flip this over. This piece is a little bit short. Uh, hopefully I can make a bow. And you know, another day, another bow.
You can do it. See? There you go. Let's look at the end result. Here they are. This was my prototype that I did not really decorate. I am going to decorate the back of it because I want the thumbnail picture to be like this. So you can see you can do something on the back because I love this back. So I'm going to recreate this over here. So that's good. what I'm going to do off camera. And then we have this little cutie. Even though it has creepy crawlies on it. I don't mind that. Some people are like, ooh, no, I'm gonna not, not gonna use like insects and bugs and such. I like it. You open it up like so. And there you go. And then you have a secret spot over here. You can put some in, in. You can put something in here, something in here. I would not glue this down. I will. Give this an email or uh, an email in happy mail or tuck it into your journal. I absolutely love it. Also, it inspired me to do some specimen labels, cards, thingies. Because I have these two uh, dies that I hardly ever use. So I'm going to use them. Guys, I really enjoyed it. Thank you for hanging out with me again. If you like the video, you know, thumbs up and subscribe and uh, leave me a comment. I love those. See you all again tomorrow. Bye bye.